Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for Twin Flames for April 2020. I hope that you are doing well. I'm hoping that you feel well and all that good stuff. I'm also really hoping this reading helps you. So this is going to be for Twin Flames. We're going to see what's coming through for you and your twin in April of 2020. Now, if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So I have both of the Twin Flame bracelets here. I also have on my Etsy shop Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine bracelets. So if you are interested, do check those out. Um, these are handmade by me. They are sent out by me. They're meditated and saged and also free international shipping worldwide. They're pretty affordable. So a link to my Etsy shop will be in the description box below. And also if you'd like to check out the reviews, definitely do head over to my Etsy shop. If you want to see how other people have seen results with them, I think that's, you know, the real magical sort of pinnacle point um, to these bracelets. So definitely do check that out if you're interested. I just want to say a huge amount of just a huge thank you, should I say. Um, let me just better formulate my sentences. A huge amount. Just, ah, oh, I can't even speak, can I? Just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the love and support on my channel. It always means the world to me and I genuinely believe I have some of the most incredible viewers. I really, really do. So let's get started with this reading, Aquarius. Okay. And let's see what's coming through for you in April 2020. Okay. Whoa, okay, there we go. <laughs> These cards are slipping around quite a lot, so I'm just trying to shuffle them best way I can. Whoa. Okay, I think we have enough cards. If not, I will add to the spread. Let's do this. I know it seems really strange, but it makes sense for the order in which I want to place them in, so I did it in that way. All right, so we've got the star card. <laughs> Do you know what? It was it was turned over like this, and I just had a feeling that this is the first card that needs to go down. And everything on my channel is very intuitive based. It's based on intuition, and I just wanted to do it like this. And it's amazing how your major arcana, the Aquarius major arcana, whether you're a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, the major arcana for this sign is the first card that I just so happen to flip over. Whew, wow, what a way to start this reading. So you've got the star card, you've got the six of swords. Do not be afraid of this. It has so much positive meaning to it. I know you guys might be thinking, yeah, but it's the six of swords. Yeah, but it's a really good card. You know what this is about? It's about getting yourself to a better place emotionally. This is about feeling good in your own energy. It is also about healing, releasing and letting go things from your past that just may not feel like they are serving or suiting you and you know what this does it enhances twin flame connections the minute we tap into sort of these root causes and underlying things that maybe we are not feeling so great about but we actually tap into those and we acknowledge them and we start to understand them we start to uplift our own energy, our vibrational energy, our aura, how we feel, the way we do things, and it changes things to such a high degree, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, and financially, right? The way that we feel on a daily basis can change our outlook on everything. And what I'm seeing is that if you have certain things, even from your childhood, or past, past relationships, or ways in which maybe you felt insecure, right? This is about acknowledging it, but using it to your strength. Know that there is light at the end of this tunnel. Look at that beaming light in the distance, okay? Look at that beaming star above this woman who is trying to heal, release, and let go. Aquarius is the water bearer. But sometimes we gotta, gotta release some stuff. And this is so important for the twin flame connection, and I tell you why, because sometimes when we're focusing so much on our twin, focusing, focusing, giving them all our energy, it can prolong things, and it can also make us feel quite drained in the process. The minute we take that energy off of our twin, we put it into ourselves, we work on ourselves, it can actually enhance the connection because you're not feeding your twin all of that spiritual energy where they use it to just do whatever they want. You're then using your energy in such a proactive way for yourself that it also makes your twin come to you stronger, want to progress things stronger, move in your direction stronger. 
this has so many benefits, not only for you, but your twin flame connection. So, wow. Okay, Six of Swords, getting yourself to an emotionally better place, but it's also about acknowledging maybe some wounds and some sort of root uh, causes. You know, I'm not saying that in April, hey, you need to let go of all of this because that's not how it works, right? We need time to be able to acknowledge things and to step by step work through things. So that's just what I'm seeing. April is a real good starting point where you're going to do that. You may be spending more time in your own energy. You may just be spending more time, you know, indoors, especially with everything going on. Health-wise, it kind of makes sense, right, that a lot more people would be spending time with themselves. That really does connect, actually, very much so. So when we spend so much time within ourselves, we think a lot, and we can think about all of these things, and we can really get into these sort of root issues. So that's what I'm seeing here. You're embodying your own energy here. Okay, so we've got the hanged man. We've got the magician. We have the Fool, which I'm going to put here because we've got zero and one. So the Fool is the first card in tarot, which is zero. And then the second card in tarot, I know, it's so strange how they do it. But it's number one. It's just the order in the, the order of the cards. So here we have a restart, a refresh in terms of your energy, a spiritual sort of awakening, an epiphany where you start to feel so strong and so good about yourself. And also, you know, how you feel um, within yourself. Sorry, these cards actually go this way around because we're gonna put them down. So that's really what I'm seeing. You know, the hangman here shows also your twin on the other side of you doing this is also going to awaken in parallel. Both of you are doing things in parallel and I think that's really important. Now the magician is all about direct communication, strong amounts of communication and things manifesting. So this is such an important card because it really does show communication for the two of you getting stronger, more so mid to end of April, things just becoming so much stronger. The four here is about excitement and your twin actually realizing that, wow, I wanna do more things with you. I wanna go here, I wanna go there. Obviously when the time is right, you know, especially with everything going on in the world, a lot of, you know, places are shut right now, but this is about them envisioning in their mind, like I wanna, I wanna take things further, I wanna do more. I want to be more, we've got the Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, see? They want to do more, they want to give you more, they want to be there for you more. That's, you know, truly what I'm seeing. I'm just going to move the deck out of the way. Queen of Wands, real attraction towards you, but this is also about you nourishing and putting yourself first, which is very important. Page of Cups here is about... Um, things manifesting, right? Their thoughts towards you also manifesting. The more energy you're putting into yourself, the more in parallel your twin is also awakening to the connection. See, look, King of Swords. Wow, so much communication and there's a lot of honesty here as well. So they can just randomly reach out to you, especially if you have no contact with this person, reach out to you with this communication energy and just be like, hey, you know, this, this and this. What do you feel if, you know, we meet up at some point in the future? How would you feel if we spoke to each other more or did more together? How do you feel about me? Things like that. The other thing is, this is also your energy. So tarot cards can have multiple meanings and the King of Swords is also your energy as an Aquarius. And what I'm seeing here, this King of Swords, is that this person really respects you and values you. Feels that you are trustworthy, honest, you're loyal, you're kind, you're caring, you're attractive. All right, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders, so I just want you guys to know that. Yes, I am referring to you as a king and a queen sort of in energy, but um, I'm also referring to how they want to progress things as well. See, two of pentacles, things becoming much more balanced and them actually wanting to really make things work with you. Then we've got here the queen of pentacles. We've got the nine of, I just ruined the entire spread, didn't I? <laughs> nine of cups. And then we've got the three of pentacles and we've got here the nine of wands. So one thing's really evident is that they are really thinking about what you're doing, how you're spending your time. They're wondering, thinking, pondering, contemplating, and that is really on their mind to the point where they are definitely going to open up and communicate with you and want to know what you're up to because trust me when I say your twin knows your value now. They know that you have something really special and they do not want to lose that, okay? And they are going to feel like they don't have you at arm's length this entire time. Nine of Cups, they have a wish to progress things with you in April and the Three of Pentacles shows teamwork and collaboration. They want to make things work with you. They want to come forward. They want to express things to you. And that's what I'm seeing. 
we want to balance things out so the two to the three of pentacles shows that and a lot of this is a result of you putting energy into yourself and really doing things for you okay so just know that you are worthy say to yourself i am worthy i am the star comment down below i am worthy i am the star because you totally are and it can shift and change the dynamic of this connection so much and that's what I'm seeing. For those of you that put so much more energy into yourself, you are seeing big shifts and transformations in your twin flame connection in April where it's just changing things so much for the better. All right, so this is what I'm seeing Aquarius, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Definitely do check out the description box below for more information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelets which are on Etsy, Patreon, all that good stuff. Make sure you click on the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get my videos into your subscription box which is completely free. So ring that bell and I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Please do take care of yourself and know that you are worthy and you are the star because that's your energy. All right, Aquarius, take care.